Taylor, how special was that to score the winner in the 91st minute? Yeah, of course, it's always nice to get on the score sheet. The main thing for us was that we won and we did that. Um, I knew my role tonight was to come on and change the game in any way that I could. And yeah, I managed to get on the score sheet, but what a ball from LJ. And yeah, we just showed a lot of character tonight to get that win. What did Serena say before you came on? <laughs> it was all a bit of a blur, but um, just to go on, make an impact, attack, make sure that we press high up the pitch and go and express ourselves. And yeah, the, the subs that she made really did that. And uh, yeah, like I say, it was a great comeback. 2-0 uh, down at half time. We've come back and, and shown that we can win that game. And, and yeah, three good goals. You love scoring big goals in big games, especially here, don't you? Yeah, apparently so. Um, I wish you play here every week. Uh, no, I love playing for England. I love playing football. And yeah, tonight was really special to get on the score sheet again at Wembley. But for us, the main thing is that we won. Just describe the feeling, the roar from Wembley, because it was such a big goal in a crucial game regarding Olympic qualification. Yeah, it was really loud. Um, didn't really have time to celebrate. Uh, wanted to get the ball out the net and go and, go and get another one. Uh, so, yeah, didn't really get to embrace it, but the fans were amazing tonight. Another sold out, packed out Wembley Stadium, and, and yeah, we love playing her. Is there a sense of relief? Um, I mean, I thought we played really well tonight. Even when we went two goals down, we still really dominated the game. We dominated that first half and it was two, uh, two errors from us that led to their goals. But like I say, the character from the team to come back out in that second half and really dominate the game and get those three goals, is, yeah, obviously it's nice to get a win. How big is this game going to be against Scotland next week? Yeah, massive. But every game we play in is huge. Everyone wants to beat England and we've got that targets on our back. Um, but we love playing in big games. We love playing together as a team. And, and yeah, we'll go out that game with a game plan and we'll go out there fighting and, and wanting to get, get the win. Serena, you came back from two goals down to go on to win such a crucial game. How relieved are you after that performance? Yeah, well, relieved. I feel a little bit strange because I'm really happy with the win. Um, and then at the end, you actually hope you win with two goal difference because then uh, you're in a better position. But I think um, coming back from, from a 2-0 down and how we showed up the second half, I think that was so well done. Um, so, so I think a good performance for us. I think overall it was a very good game. I also think that we started the first half really well and we were totally dominating. And again, they come with one counter-attack and he scored the 1-0. So we... Um, yeah, that, that was also a good goal from them. But um, yeah, we, we said at halftime, we, we, um, we're not playing bad. We just, we just yeah, we, we can see two goals. We have to do better, but keep going because they are struggling too. How key were your substitutions tonight? Yeah, well, I think, um, as I said, I don't think we played, we, we played poor. The first half, but then you know when you have to score a goal, like at halftime we thought we need to do something different. So Beth Mead uh, came in, and after that we changed a couple of more. Uh, so get, get some other uh, connections, get some new energy in it, and we needed that too. How impressed were you with Ella Toon? Another big goal in a big game. Yeah, she. Well, I'm impressed with my team, and uh, and again also Ella. She scores a lot of important goals, and uh, she just shows up, and that's very good. Um, she's ready, even when she starts or when she comes in, she's ready to go, and that's really good. What needs to change ahead of Scotland? A huge game regarding the next rounds with Olympic qualification still in your hands. Um, what we need to change? Well, first of all, we need to win. And uh, now we really need to win. We're dependent, of course, uh, on uh, the other score. But if we want to be uh, secure, then we really have to have a very great win, like at least, I would say, 4-0. And then that's also depending on what uh, the Netherlands Belgium does. But if we win and the Netherlands drop points, then we're in. Um, if the Netherlands win, we need to win by at least, I think, 5-0, five, five depending on what score they have. Is that what your question was? Mainly if you're confident that the team can get it over the line next week. Well, like, what we can control is, is play well and win that game. That's what we first have to do. Uh, we can't control what all the other ones do. Mary, what a night. How much did you need a performance like that? Uh, yeah, I thought the girls were unbelievable. Um, to, yeah, to, to come back into the game like that, I thought they were unbelievable. Um, subs who came on impacted the game. Uh, I'm just sorry that, that my performance has, has cost the team tonight. Let's talk about that, that second goal. I know you're someone that really beats yourself up, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but the team as a whole, they won tonight. You can carry on, build and pick up yourself up. But let's talk about that, that second goal. What was going through your mind when you saw that go in? Oh, words I definitely can't say on TV. Um, yeah, that'll haunt me for a long time, long time. Yeah, I've, I've really let the team down today. 
um, and I'm, I'm really gutted. I'm really, really gutted because it could have been a really special night at Wembley. Um, but you won the game. The team yeah, won the game. No, the team were unbelievable. Don't please do not get look. That the goals are unbelievable. Um, the way that they played, the way that they moved it around, showed great patience at times, real tenacity, real intensity to the play. Um, the girls were phenomenal, phenomenal. But just judging by your reaction, it just shows the competitor that you are. You've had such a successful year, but you still want to improve and, and build with this team. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a competitor, but when it's not good enough, it's not good enough. And, um, you know, I can only apologise to my teammates and, and to the fans, really. Um, I take that fully with my whole chest, so yeah, that's, that's me. What needs to improve against Scotland? Huge game next week. Um, you know what, I think if we perform, perform like that, it, you know, in terms of attack, um, I don't think we'll go too far wrong. As I say, goals, un unbelievable. The way that they created the goals, um, yeah, brilliant, really good. A moment of magic from Ella Toon as well. Of course, a lot of magic tonight, you know. Um, but I think the way, yeah, the team really got back into the game really, really well, showed just how special the group is. Like the the talent in the team, the 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 character, unbelievable. Like really good, really good. It's a win for the team. I know you're a competitor, and you'll go stronger, and you'll go again on Tuesday. Well done. Thank well you. Done. Sorry, everyone. Thank you. She's going to beat herself up about it, isn't she? We see so many good performances from Mary tonight. At, at times, it, it wasn't good enough. Well, yeah, got, you know, I, I don't think she should be beating herself like like she is. She looks really quite distressed mm. there. The fact is, that we've seen on many occasions Mary Earps has saved this team. You know, unfortunately for her today, she made a mistake that you know, yes, we needed two goals. But unfortunately, you know, we. Um, we didn't lose the game. Unfortunately, we, we didn't get the two goals. But at the same time, that's what it's about, you know. It happens like that. Your team pull you out of it. Mm. And she's pulled the team out of it a few times. She's just got to, like, take that on the chin and move on. Is it the goalkeeper position, though, that they're naturally always going to be harder on themselves? Because if you make a mistake in that position, all eyes are on you. Whereas if you're a striker, you don't score. I mean, I think Ian Wright got away with loads when he was in play. <laughs> so people aren't going to hone in on you as much. Um... <laughs> I think it's maybe Mary, though, herself. She puts so much pressure on herself mm. and obviously with the captain's armband. And, but I think Bright is absolutely 100% correct. Like, it mm. isn't all on Mary. Mm. She's dug us out of a hole so many times in this campaign. And ultimately, if we don't qualify, it hasn't been just on this game. Mm. It's been on all the other games where collectively decisions haven't been made correct at times.